the Joe Rogan experience. I was uh, hanging out <laughs> on the top of, uh, I had a, a like, uh, when I lived in uh, Newton, we lived on this really steep street. And there was a, a part of, uh, like, above my parents' bedroom where you could stand on the roof. So you could go out to the back, you could climb up a ladder, you could stand on the roof. And me and my friend Jay Jewett were, or no, I'm sorry, it was John Jewett. It was Jay's brother. Jay was my friend, too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, John and I were on the roof, and we were, because John was dating my sister, and we were watching cars slide down this frozen street and slam it into curbs. Every car that went down the street was fucked because they didn't know that it was it was all black ice. The whole street was black ice, and uh, we sat on the roof, and there was not a goddamn thing we could do. Wait, and, how many black guys? No, not black guys. Black ice. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bert. I thought Jesus I had, Christ. I had a visual. The whole of, street was black guys. <laughs> I had a visual of like two hundred black guys just watching white people careen. And I'm like, holy, it got so much better. It got so much better no, with black guys. Winter weather, black <laughs> ice. I'm I sorry. My, I probably, we, we've had a lot of weed and pot and uh, alcohol. I probably it's slurred my so words. It's so much better of a black. story watching a bunch of black guys like it's a slam dunk contest. Like, oh, shit. That's hilarious. Oh, my no, God. It was uh, cars just bouncing off the curb. And so we called the cops. And we told them, hey, there's all these cars, like two cars in a row have uh, come down this hill and they're bouncing off the curbs. And so the cops came down the hill and they fucking bounced off the curbs. <laughs> these fucking dipshits. And we're watching them. <laughs> and me and John are watching this <laughs> car bounce off these curbs. And I'm like, look at this fucking idiot. Did, did you not listen? We called you, man. <laughs> And you're like, I gotta see for myself. Why don't you come up from the bottom, you fuck? You grab the phone, you're like, call Domino's. They came the same way everybody else did, and the same thing happened. Like, oh. we know better. We know better. We're gonna come down. Oh my god. Show you homos how to drive. <laughs> <laughs> they just bounced off the curves. Oh my god. Oh. But I really believe that growing up like that is good for you. I think spending my high school years in Massachusetts was really important. It's really important to shovel snow. Like, that was one of the ways we made money. Like, you get pumped when it snowed out because you could charge people. So you would go to this lady's house, and you know you knew she couldn't shovel this fucking long-ass driveway. Yeah. And you'd make a negotiation. Like, uh, when I'm looking at it... I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to do my math. Math's always terrible. Oh, right? wow. I think so I'm you're like, a kid it, and you're going, yeah. like, uh, dun, dun, that's yeah. a valuable trait. Yeah, I'm like 14. I'm trying to figure out uh, how long it's going to take to <laughs> dig up two feet of snow from 40 feet of driveway. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> 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 You're never right. I would love to hear my right. daughter's price point on that. <laughs> Some people were great. Some people were really generous. They even give you a tip. You know, they pay you like you know, maybe a hundred dollars to do a whole long ass driveway. But bro, it would take you all day. You know, oh. when someone has one of these motherfuckers that goes up to their house and you gotta and it's like two feet of snow, you gotta do you don't even realize how much work that is. Dude, I would come home wrecked. Just wrecked. Dude, I we were we were at a yurt at seven thousand feet in uh fucking Idaho, right? And I, I, I low on oxygen. I'm, we've been riding snowmobiles, drinking beers all the way up to this yurt. And I get there and the whole fucking deck is covered and there's a snow, uh, fire pit. I, I'm so excited as a Florida kid. I go, I'm gonna shovel the deck. And everyone's like, hey man, you're gonna have a fucking heart attack. And I go, <laughs> I go, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've been so excited about shoveling snow my whole life, right? I've never done it. <laughs> It sucks dick. It sucks it, the most. Within, I gave it to my buddy John Sales. I go, you got to finish, man. I can't do this shit. I was like, I, I'm, I'm Florida kid, man. I, I'm going to put on my flip-flops. 